familiar number to me because I remember back in 2003 when, uh, when the, the massive cuts in the state personal income tax were being floated, that that was the approximate price tag. We reduced the top marginal income tax rate by, what, about 45 percent. We have uh, the, we, we basically created an enormous uh, deduction for capital gains, and we took a $1 billion revenue source, a source of revenue we used to fund education and health care and other core functions of government, and we turned that into a $600 million source of revenue, um, all with the intention, the express intention, of generating jobs. However, the job situation, as we all know, hasn't gotten a whole lot better since that time and the revenue picture has gotten a whole lot worse. I think we have a very straightforward choice to make tonight, and that choice is whether we are, as a state, going to continue to try to adequately fund the core functions of government, that's public safety, education, and health care, or whether we're going to continue to subsidize industries and perhaps even individuals who arguably do not have as great a need. And, and by that I mean out-of-state corporations who benefit tremendously from uh, one of the laxest state or corporate income taxes in the country, or high-income individuals who not only have a much lower base upon which to base their much lower taxes, but in general are paying considerably less tax, um, sometimes half as much tax as they were just five years ago to the state of New Mexico. I, uh, you know, I've done a lot of tax cutting in my life. I worked for the tax department. I ran economic development. I know that taxes have an impact on the economy. But I also know that spending has a tremendous impact on the economy. Uh, when we spend for state services, such as education and health care, we put money directly into the pockets of New Mexicans. We fund entire communities in New Mexico simply by providing Medicaid subsidies to the patients of hospitals that run the entire community economy. Uh, our education system is key to our economic development. As an economic developer, I have recruited many, many, many com companies to this state, and they are far more interested in an educated potential workforce and being able to send their kids to quality schools than they are in tax breaks. Uh, no company is going to turn down a tax break if it's offered, but there are things they value a lot more, and there are things that will keep them in the state employing people for a lot longer than a tax break. Um, on the other hand, the, the tax uh, preferences that I'm talking about in specific are the corporate income tax, our failure to require combined reporting of multi-state corporations who can uh, attribute their income to out-of-state subsidiaries and basically pay no tax at all. These companies include Kmart and Walmart. Um, and also, of course, the preferences at the high end of the personal income tax. This is a short and a long-term conundrum for the state. Our investments in, in community services such as health care and education will keep our economy growing and pull us out of the recession and pay for, generally pay for themselves, uh, and they will be the investments we need in our future. So they will pay for themselves now and they will pay for themselves later. And their, their benefits to the state economy will far outweigh the costs of any tax increases that were utilized to fund them. Thank you. Team